Hello and welcome back to the Shattered Balance campaign in Crusader Kings 2 with the HIP mod. In the last episode we won another Holy Warrior over here for the Duchy of Apulia, or most of the Duchy, and barring this county. That wasn't intended to be a pun, but it was actually pretty good. Um, we now have the Holy War cooldown though, so we won't be able to do any more Holy Wars until 1006, and we aren't able to declare war on Capua for this county for a while either, since we have a truce with them. So. I guess we'll just leave our retinue over there for the moment, and I was looking around at other possible targets over here, and it turns out we have a claimant already in our realm whose claim we can press on the Duchess of Cilicia Trachia here. This is the Countess of this county. Uh, she has a strong claim on the Duchy of Anatolia, so we can press her claim, gain three counties for her which are even adjacent to the land she already holds, though that's not part of this du jour duchy. So she'll end up with one county outside of her du jour duchy, but it's not really a big deal. And it's nice that she already has land, so we don't have to mess about with giving her any other uh, counties over here or anything. So I think we'll just go ahead and declare this. We probably don't have to worry about too much in terms of her military might, she's only got about 4,000, so we should be able to get away with only raising a few of the nearby levies. Uh, let's see, we'll get yours, 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 oh, we already got you, I guess, and you. Okay, this gives us almost 7,000, which should be plenty. We are also, of course, involved in... Well, how about you don't go this way? Okay. Uh, we're also involved in this war with our ally Cyprus against um, a revolt that he's having, but it looks like he's going to win this battle here, which should take care of that for him if he gets over there and fights this army before it regains its morale. I guess we could potentially go and help if we wanted to. Let's not be on speed one as well. has indeed won that battle, so that's going okay for him so far. And it looks like he'll probably win this one too. Ooh, this could be a close one though. But he's won it, okay. And he's up to 34%. Well, let's hope he can continue that without our help. Oh, he is actually outnumbered now. Okay, our son and heir needs educating. Only our current heir, of course, because we would like to change our succession laws, which we will be able to do once we're finished with this war, actually. We might have been able to do it before declaring this war, but I forgot to check. So we'll probably change to either elective or primogeniture. We will have to make sure we don't have any vassals with negative opinions before we can do that, but we should be able to manage doing that, I think. Uh, let's see, you have 3200, you're headed to here. I think even though we're going to be quite likely facing a mountains penalty, we should be okay with the numbers we have. Pretty much everywhere is mountains in this part of the world. So, I mean, ideally we'd like to base her into attacking us, but... Oh, okay, the White Stag. Lately you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a White Stag. Powerful and elusive. We'll send people out to find it, of course. So yeah, actually, I think we won't go and attack him in the mountains, or her in the mountains. Instead, I will split off see. We won't do half, we'll uh, make it about 2,000. That should be a good number to entice them into attacking us. Let's 
So indeed, that army is heading into this county, and we can wait until they engage and then reinforce from next door. Uh, we better make sure that we have good generals in charge here, though. So that they can hold out for as long as possible. Okay. Um, we may as well just use the whole stack. We're not giving up much siege progress, so it's not a big deal. I'll keep an eye on this battle. Okay, doing pretty badly on the right flank here, but the reinforcements are going to be here tomorrow. Which should sort things out pretty nicely. They broke the right flank. Should break the center. Oh, they broke our center. That's pretty rough. I think we're still gonna win this. Didn't go quite as well as we hoped, though. We did capture a Countess. So the army is retreating to Iconion. It's only 291 troops, so I think we'll... No, we'll just ignore it and head back to this county. Okay. So we might still have enough troops, or she might still have enough troops, rather, to siege some of the land nearby, but we probably can just go ahead and siege her land and get our ticking war score and win that way. We're already up to 62%, so it probably won't take too much. So we've received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the province of Strimon. Saddle my horse. There is an army of the Cypriot Revolt in range of us here, but I don't really want to attack them in the mountains either. Our Du of Paphlagonia has died under suspicious circumstances. And the new Du is two years old, so he won't be any trouble for us, which is good news. And we have a new 13-year-old Duke over here as well. Let's head out and look for the Great White Stag. My daughter is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I might have to rein her in a little bit. Okay, this isn't our good daughter. Well, it's our pretty good daughter, but not our best daughter. We'll tell her pride goeth before a fall. And you are 14 years old. It might be about time that we transferred her to a different educator to make sure that I don't forget. Um, let's see. Brilliant Strategist would be good, or Midas Touched I would also settle for. And she only has less than two years to pick up any bad traits, but I want to make sure that she gets somebody with at least reasonable traits so nothing too awful happens. If possible. We'll probably be fine anyway, but... I suppose Grey Eminence would be another one we could consider. And you have pretty good traits. Fortunately, you're the wrong culture, so I'd rather not give her to you. Go for a brilliant strategist. You have content and greedy, neither of which would be good, but we'll also get opinion out of this. So we'll just roll the dice and hope she won't pick up either of these traits or anything else that we don't want. Get our opinion bonus. 
and hopefully get her brilliant strategist. Scaring the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same great animal that you are after. His lack of success thus far seems to match yours, but he invites you to talk and share experiences. So we can get a courtier and gain one marshal. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll get a free courtier. We'll see what he's like. He's a hunter and he's brave. Otherwise, is not particularly noteworthy. You return to your court. The hunt for this elusive white beast seems fruitless, but there may be many more things. Uh, but there are many more things out there in the wild. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. I won't give up. Well, not yet. I won't. Probably later. I will give up. Uh, while we're waiting for sieges, let's spend some of our money on upgrades in our capital. Oh, my wife is pregnant. Um, we actually don't have the technology to build shipyards yet. I was mentioning previously that we should get some ships of our own, but we can't until we improve that technology, so maybe we'll look at doing that the next time we can upgrade something. And I guess we'll get level 2 of training grounds. Training grounds are pretty good, I guess. And the same in the rest of our castles. Actually, we'll get better keeps in these ones. do for now. We'll keep some money on hand, just in case of emergencies. And yeah, we can probably go to speed 4, actually. Uh, Wallachia is sending troops down here. I assume they're involved in the Cypriot War. Yeah, okay. That's fine. They, they can take care of attacking this, this army in the mountains. Oh, and we're actually going to capture the Duchess herself, apparently. Or we didn't. Oh, and we're uh, being attacked here. Alright, let's take this many troops and reinforce. Should be able to turn this in our favor if it wasn't going that way already. And we are up to 94%. I'll actually... Take this army and go and fight the rest of their troops. Just in case it gets us up to 100, I doubt we'll get that much war score from such a small battle, but it was worth a try. And I'll just pile this army on top of the other one to finish this one siege more quickly, since it will probably get us to 100. And I'm not sure if they actually managed to fight that Cypriot army, I wasn't really paying attention to it. Mm, heathens attacked you, okay. Okay, so we have a new daughter who is also strong and is currently our heir because of Ultima Genitor. My eldest daughter is 15 now. She's going to be of age next September. Oh, the Despot of Cyprus lost his war. Okay. She's going to be of age in September, so we'll keep an eye on her. Still no negative traits being picked up there, which is good. And we are at 100% in our war. So, our new Duchess has gained her three other counties. She's extremely happy with us because we pressed her claim. And we can disband the rest of our troops.
And it is the year 1005, which is when our Holy War cooldown ends. No, that's 1006. Maybe it was our truce with Capua that was 1005. Yes, we can go to war for that county in about six months. So let's be at peace for a while then. Let's get our son educated with somebody as well. We could do it ourselves, I believe, but we may as well just use him for opinion. Give him to Dracion, I guess. And we can go ahead and change our succession laws if we were to get our vassals all of positive opinion. So let's see. It's only the ones that are count and above that we need to worry about, and in fact we only have two that are negative, so we can probably just bribe them. I guess we could release her to increase her opinion, but why do that when we can keep her in prison where she's out of trouble? Okay, that should be all we need, and I suppose we'll go to primogeniture. That's probably fine. Then we'll try elective monarchy another time. Okay, so now our heir is our eldest daughter. We have a new Du of Hellas. He's pretty happy with me, so that's good. How are our opinion penalties from raised levies? We got a few in the 40s, which is not too good. If we can avoid raising their troops in the next war, we'll do it. daughter is mastering the art of swordsmanship. So now that we're in primogeniture, it means our son here is next in line. He's actually not great. Our truce with the Capua is about to expire, so we'll probably just go ahead and declare the du jour war immediately once that happens. You wish to intercede on behalf of the Duquesa of Achaea. Let's diplomatically explain why she definitely needs to stay in prison forever. Okay, the King of Serbia is calling us in against Carinthia. We'll accept, but probably not actually help. And Capua and Sicily are still at war. Presumably the same war? I think. Capua is winning. They have... It's 7,000 troops, I'm going to assume that's his... Not his whole army, but it's is the majority of it. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and declare our war anyway. This will make our Duke of Apulia even more happy with us. Not that he needs it. I don't think we'll bother calling in anybody. We'll raise the levies of our... Dukes over here. Um, Barry is plains, so it's not actually good defensive terrain there. The best we can do nearby is hills. So I don't want to get these troops destroyed by his army before I get reinforcements over. We'll just leave them in Barry. We can probably get enough troops over to help out quickly enough that they'll be fine. over here. I'll raise my domain troops as well, and I haven't actually checked whether these are the vassals who are annoyed about their levies being raised, but it probably doesn't actually matter that much. Oh, he actually raised some troops in the target county there. That's fine. We won the battle anyway. And he's now fighting uh, Sicily over there. 
which is fine with me. And he is heading to Benevento, so he may be coming to try and fight our army. So let's go and get this 6,000 troops on their the way over, which will be enough to fight him off, hopefully. Alright, he's still coming, so we'll get some good leaders in charge, get ready to take this battle. And we may as well let him attack us and actually fight him, rather than running away. Um, okay, our daughter came of age and is a brilliant strategist, didn't pick up any negative trace, and in fact, I think she became diligent since we last had her, so that's uh, pretty much the best possible outcome there. 25, Marshall. Pretty great. We'll arrange a marriage for her. We get our marriage married to the king of Armenia and gain quite a large amount of land through inheritance. He doesn't like me, but I think that's probably worth doing. It means she'll be out of my courts until we inherit as her. Which I don't like, but... Hey, let's do it. It'll be fun. Oh, it has to be matrilineal, of course, and he won't actually accept that, so never mind. Ah, what could have been? Oh well. Instead, we'll just get her married to somebody with preferably the genius trait. That would be pretty good. 47-year-old genius. I, mean, I guess he'll do. We can just have her marry a different genius when he dies. And we'll gain the gold. We don't need the prestige. And let's just let this battle play out. Which should go pretty nicely in our favor. Alright, so we'll keep our army here to siege our target county, but we'll have to end the episode here because we're out of time. So thanks for watching, and join me again next time.